Well, how's it going? We're on another job here. This is a uh, stone cast laminate flooring, and it's over OSB. Um, and the OSB is kind of rough. Um, we do have to do a little bit of prep work on it. But as you can see, this is a beach house. This is a waterproof product. Excuse the mess. Um, we're just about wrapped up here. We're cladding the stairs, putting safety nose on it, um, the base. But as you can see, the Stonecast product is a really nice product. You can see it in the light right here. Natural light. Really pretty. And you can go over directly over ceramic tile with this too. The prep work necessary for this product is you have to bring the tolerances up. I mean, you really need good tolerances on it. It does have, uh, it's able to give a little leeway on the industrial standard, which is an eighth of an inch rise or fall over 10 foot area. So, uh, you have to work with it um, when you're installing it on OSB. Um, the worst thing that can go wrong is OSB splinters because it's wafer board and the pieces of wood will actually go up underneath your fingernails. <laughs> so, and as most people know that install flooring, you don't really cover. If you wear gloves, you've got to have some fingers free so you can feel the material. So let's see what is going on back here. Here's some racket going on. Um, you can see the OSB. This had a, this was the original decking in here, and uh, somebody had came in and did a glue down system on their on their substrate. Now this is was never cladded, so before you you don't ever want to glue anything down to your original decking um, on an elevated or second or third floor or whatever. Um, this is this is this is not like concrete. And when you go to remove the old flooring, um, it's gonna be very bad. This is a floating floor, so it's it's not glued down, it floats. But as you can clearly see, this uh, this 3M wood set, which was probably, I also used a, uh, a moisture barrier in it. So it's like a, a, a two-part poly, or poly epoxy, rather. Um, it's still kind of rubbery a little bit in places. But we were able to uh, get tolerances out. You can imagine the catastrophe this is through 1,040 square feet. You could imagine the catastrophe um, had this uh, wafer board experienced any type of moisture from below or laterally. The, uh, when we go to remove the floor, it would have just decimated it. And there was a place in the house that happened. We capped it with and filled it with uh, steel wool and Ardex. So uh, it worked out really good, nice and solid, and we feathered it out. So the homeowner would not have to tear out his deck. Um, it's very costly, and especially on a floor like this, suspended, a second floor store, or a story floor rather, um, the trusses are not two by fours, they are, they are actually trusses, they're wood I-beams built out of uh, um, OSB, capped with a, uh, a, a, like a two, one by two to make an I-beam for the floors, and then they're glued to this deck, so... The unsuspecting person that goes, oh, I can just take this deck out. No, you can't because this deck is not only nailed into the wooden uh, fabricated trusses, not studs, not joists as we know them, but trusses, I-beams that are made out of wood in between these two floors. I'm on the second floor, and it's glued down. So that would cause you a major concerns during a remodel because you're going to tear the cap off of your trusses. Of the floor joist so this is a pretty heavy house they, they, they don't don't use the old you know uh one by sixes they use the prefabricated trusses um the i-beams that are made out of a uh a vertical piece of osb and on the top is a one by two and on the bottom is a one by two in a channel it's glued together then they glue it down so don't try to attempt to pull your floors out if that's the case make a little hole and find out don't cut through those. <laughs> it's an integral part of your floor. All right, that's it. Peace.